if we go outside and see some smoke from a distance we can say there is a smoke so there must be some fire if you go outside there are clouds in the sky looking at these black clouds immediately you infer that there will be rain looking at the cause you can tell the effect or vice versa looking at the effect you can know the cause so this is the universal law of cause and effect there can be no effect without a cause and for every cause there has to be some effect if we understand this universal law of karma or law of cause and effect our life becomes easy because we will be able to understand who we are why we are here in this world and why these things are happening to us lots of questions are answered by understanding this universal law of karma before we discuss this universal law we need to understand what is karma this word karma is known as action this is very common meaning karma means action all our actions are called karmas except the ones we are in the process of performing when an action is under performance not yet completed it is called kriya it is not called action on all our completed actions they are called karma in english language we translate both as action karma and kriya both action but in sanskrit both are different once an action is completed then it is no more kriya it is an action it is karma the seed of karma lie in kriya because our present actions instantly turn into completed actions and when an action is completed the action itself no longer exists in its gross form but the result of that action manifests sooner or later in our lives both the action and its result are stored in their subtle forms in the unconscious mind and they are known as karma any action which you perform whether it is mental verbal or physical action it creates a subtle impression in our unconscious mind when we continuously repeat the same action these impression are strengthened until eventually they become so powerful that unable to resist their strong currents we are just swept away into performing actions that match these impressions if you go to sea beach and you are walking on the sea shore the sand is wet so with your foot with your feet when you are walking there are some impressions so these are the impressions which can be compared with the samskara walking as an action and the footprints are the impressions if you walk on the same footprints again these impressions or footprints they are becoming more deeper more prominent in other words we can say the subtle impressions which are also called samskaras they are born from our actions and in turn our actions are motivated by subtle impressions this is a vicious cycle that once in motion it is very difficult to break 